हेलो एवरी वन आई एम वकाश सईद एंड टुडे वी विल सी दी सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ करोने मास फ्लोमीटर कम्युनिकेशन विद मोड बस पॉल सॉफ्टवेयर इन फर्स्ट वीडियो वी हैड डिस्कस्ड आल दी हार्डवेयर रिक्वायर्ड फॉर दिस कम्युनिकेशन इन टुडे वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस एंड सी दी नेक्स्ट टू पॉइंट ऑफ द कॉन्टेंट द फर्स्ट पॉइंट वी विल डिस्कस टूडे इज द सिग्नल वायरिंग स्कीम एट दी फ्लोमीटर साइड एंड एट दी आर एस फोर एट फाइव कन्वर्टर साइड एज यू आर सींग द टर्मिनल पॉइंट फॉर द सिग्नल कनेक्शन ऑफ द मॉड बस आर एस फोर एट फाइव कम्युनिकेशन इन द गिवन कनेक्शन पॉइंट वी यूज पॉइंट सी डी एंड डी माइनस फोर आवर कम्युनिकेशन टर्मिनेशन वेयर सी इज द सिग्नल ग्राउंड और रेफरेंस पॉइंट विच इज़ यूज टू प्रोवाइड हायर नॉइज इम्यूनिटी एंड डेटा रिलायबिलिटी इट इज़ स्ट्रॉगली रिकमेंडेड टू यूज इट नेक्स्ट टू सी इज द डी पॉइंट विच इज विच वी कॉल्ड एज द डी जीरो और सिग्नल ए पॉइंट एंड द लास्ट इज डी माइनस पॉइंट विच वी कॉल्ड एज डी वन और सिग्नल बी पॉइंट ऑफ द कम्युनिकेशन एज पर वायरिंग स्कीम वी हैव यूज yellow wire at d minus point or signal b point of the connect communication and similarly white wire is used at the d point or signal a point of the connector termination now we see uh, this termination scheme at the modbus converter side we have done wiring at our flow converter we will use the same scheme at modbus converter side also that is white wire is used as signal a point and yellow wire is used at the signal b point the other end of the modbus converter with a usb provision was connected to the laptop usb port as you had seen the signal wiring scheme at the flow meter side and rs for it converter side we will now move to our next content that is software requirement for this modbus communication basically there are two type of sort software required in this communication first one is the modbus converter driver it is basically the driver of the hardware which is inserted in the usb port of your system second one is the modbus simulator software which is basically used to show the modbus values of the connected devices let elaborate these two type of software for better understanding starting from modbus converter driver mostly the hardware come in this type of packing as you are seeing in this picture it contain one cable of rs232 db9 to usb converter which is inserted in our system along with the cable it also contain a cd or dvd which contains driver of the hardware you can put it on cd or dvd rom of your system and auto run the driver once the driver installed you can access the hardware via com port or usb port if you don't find a cd or dvd you can also download this driver online via via internet once the driver is installed when you insert a modbus rs485 usb converter cable in the laptop port if the usb converter driver was not installed or installed incorrectly it will give you an error of unknown device as highlighted in the red section in the device manager section of the computer you can right click on the unknown device and go in in the option of update driver you can update the driver by putting the driver cd in the cd rom or you can update it via online if the rs485 usb converter driver is installed correctly you can see that a com port number is assigned to your converter 
In this case, you can see that COM port number 4 is given to your ZTEC USB to serial converter. Once the driver is installed correctly, you can move to the second type of software that is Modbus simulator software. There are many type of simulator software which can be used for checking of Modbus values. The most commonly used Modbus simulator software are Modbus Paul, ModScan, QMod Master, Simply Modbus Master, etc. The software we are using in this video is Modbus Paul software version 9.5. I have downloaded this software from plc247.com. I am sharing the download link of this software in the description also. That's all from today's video. We will see the parameter setting on the flow meter side and mode bus simulation in the next video. Thank you for watching this video and visiting my channel. If you have any query you can ask me in comment or directly contact me on my given number.